This is why Rel C's versus Block Shoots is more complicated than you guys think. Now, obviously, if you guys have heard of Rel C's, you've heard of Block Shoots, and also if you've heard of Rel C's or Block Shoots, you've probably heard of the Rel C's versus Block Shoots, which will be better once Rel C's releases which will have more players, which is the better game, all of this type of stuff, right? What I mainly want to get into today is actually why this is more complicated than you guys think. Now, before we start the video, guys, I will be posting a lot of Rail C's. So if you do like Rail C's content or upcoming game content, make sure you leave a like if you haven't done so already and subscribe to the channel. It does help the channel out a lot. And I am going to have a great Rail C's crew. So if you do want to join that, join the best Rail C's crew. Link in the description below but with all of that said let's get into it so rail c's versus block shoots i kind of don't want to compare the two because a lot of people know what is in rail c's now obviously there is a lot more content slash things to do in rail c's but that is not to knock block shoots all right in block shoots obviously you guys know what bandit beaters are block shoots is a good bit of a bandit beater and uh most of your leveling system you're just going to be punching m one you know spamming moves on NPCs, stuff like that. But also I feel like Block Shoots is targeted to a different audience. Now, yes, they are both One Piece games, so it is very easy to compare the two. Ralsei's obviously has a lot of hype, so it's going to be hyped up a lot. Block Shoots, the most popular One Piece game, probably the most, if not one of the most popular games on the platform altogether. These two games are really well known, and it's just impossible to not compare the two, you know, make videos, theories, all this good stuff. Like I said, I feel like Block Shoots is targeted to a younger audience, right? Now in Block Shoot, the bandit beating is simple. All you really do is go to the quest man, he gives you a quest, you click confirm, you defeat whatever number of bandits or pirates, whatever you want to call them, and uh, basically you repeat until you go to the next island, you follow the compass, you go to the next island, you do the quest, same thing over and over and over. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy to understand, along with a shop that has a bunch a bunch of different stuff that you can buy with robux 2 xp you can buy faster progress fragments you can buy faster awakenings money you can buy just a bunch of game passes to make the game easier for you now i'm not saying it's a bad thing and i'm not saying all of the players are like four years old nine years old because obviously there are older players that play this game and um enjoy it i'm not saying it's like a bad game to enjoy because i used to enjoy the game but i can see how it appeals to a lot of people much more to a younger audience hey this is easy i'm just gonna do these quests i'm leveling up i'm leveling up right there's nothing really hard like there's no insanely hard bosses to kill like where you're dying a bunch a bunch a bunch before you beat it nah and in rel c's i think it's appealing to i think it's appealing to an older audience they pay attention to the smaller things right older individuals they don't want to bandit beat so they have systems where you can progress through different stuff the pvp looks very very thought out and block shoots it's kind of like you just really spam moves but yeah rel c's uh combat's very thought out your throws every there's just like a lot of different stuff that they took the time to think of like the little things and different talents can give you different moves different finishers different different stuff right and obviously people that are younger aren't going to like know what to do with this information kind of just going to pick whatever if they get that far if they don't get a brain overload now again that may not be the case who knows the game's not out yet i haven't played the game it's like if you put a 10 year old in deep oaken deep oaken it's a very 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 good game but if you put a little kid in there they're probably going to quit Ooh within five minutes because they don't know anything to do next let's talk about the block shoots killer thing now block shoots a game with around 400 to 800 thousand daily players i know that's a big range but the game's kind of dying down because of its own reasons which i won't get into that is not my job anymore but yeah a lot of people say oh rel is the block shoots killer i think this is a false false narrative right because this all ties into the last thing i said with the game there are two different types of games so they have they have a little bit of the same audience but it's not to such a big extent that taking players from the game i think i think that 
this game will still have a lot of players maybe not as many i don't think that it's going to kill off the game completely or make it go so low as to where they for example have to update the game if you want to hate on the game like i can't stop you if you want to hate on either game i can't stop you but i would just wait and see which i will have the best crew all right the best crew join the link in the description below and that's really about the end of the video Hopefully you guys took something from this. If you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join the Discord link in the description below to join my crew. And I'll see you guys in the next one.